All right, so I'm gonna try to keep this under eight minutes. Uh, let's go over some stuff that's gonna be on the quiz. What are the three words that mean the same thing? Factors, resources, inputs. What day are you taking the quiz on? Fry day. Factors, resource, input, resources, inputs. That's, you know, land, labor, capital, entrepreneurial ability are the four different types of resources. They're also known as factors or inputs. Uh, we obviously focused a lot on the labor market. So the labor market for the USA is the supply and demand of labor. The supply of labor is the workers. The demand for labor is how much the firms want to hire the workers. In general, supply of labor shifts with population changes, immigration, uh, increase in number of uh, workers entering the labor force. Uh, that's going to increase the supply of labor. Uh, number of people retiring, uh, number of, you know, loss of population, that's going to decrease the supply of labor. Know what happens to wage and the quantity of labor. Okay, since I know a guy who just wrote the quiz and knows exactly what's on there and how the words are set up. So, like, there might be a question, what happens to wage and employment, uh, also known as quantity of labor, if there's an increase in uh, young people entering the labor force, right? So that'd be an increase in the supply of labor, which would lower wage, but increase the number of people hired. Uh, know how to set up the table. There's five or six questions. I just give you the worker and then the total product, two counts. All right, and then you have to figure out the next column, which marginal product, then I give you the price. Okay, you gotta put in the price, then you multiply marginal product times the price, which gives you the marginal revenue product. And then you compare that to the wage to see if you hire the people, okay? Uh, when marginal product uh, is the biggest and then starts to go down, okay, that's uh, the point of diminishing marginal returns. Make sure that you know that. Also known as little hump on uh, the Joe's Pizza graph right over there. Okay. Uh, the quantity of max profit for hiring is where MRP equals MFC. Uh, know that MRP equals marginal product times the price. So if marginal product or price increases that'll increase marginal revenue product or the value of the employees and if that increases this will happen if that happens what happens to the wage oh no the wage stays the same okay but the number of employees increase from 10 to 12 okay so uh, you need to have these graphs handy because uh, two things. Uh, the first thing is I don't know how to do the technology to put the graphs on the Schoology. And the second thing is I was too lazy and tired to learn how to put the graphs on the Schoology. Since you already have the graphs, you know, it's all about what will happen to the wage number of workers hired. Okay. So marginal product can increase too through better training, incentives, that'll increase the productivity, right? Better management. Uh, but the wage all comes from the labor market, USA. This determines the wage. The W is over here. This graph determines the number of employees, the E. So we can figure out what the answer is. But I'm fun. Okay. Uh, I would say the toughest question is, and I'm gonna give you the answer to the toughest question. If there's an increase in the demand for labor, what will happen, demand for labor in the labor market, what will happen to the number of employees and Joe's pizza, well, if the demand, this is like heaven, 
this dry erase is bored? Oh my gosh. I'm gonna have to break into this classroom and teach here. Anywho, we have a new wage. Well, guess what happens? The demand for labor increases in the labor market. Yeah, there's more people getting hired in the USA, but the number of people hired by Joe's Pizza decreases. All right? So, uh, you know, that's a paradox, if you will, a contradiction. Is demand for labor increases in the labor market? Joe's Pizza hires fewer people. Why? Joey Pacino told us, right? Because the wage goes up and Joe's Pizza doesn't want to pay a higher wage. He's like, I, I don't want to pay you that many employees more money. I'm going to cut one of my staff, okay? And uh, conversely, if the demand for labor in the labor market decreases, that would push wages down, okay? And then Joe's Pizza would hire more workers, okay? Uh, See, if, if supply of labor changes, just follow. Let's say there's an increase in the number of people in the population, the labor force. Wages go down. That's going to lead to more people getting hired at a lower wage. Okay. All right. And that's in general. That's why uh, employers tend to be for immigration because you're going to get a uh, ability to pay a lower wage and, and hire more employees and become more profitable. Okay. Uh, minimum wage is also on there. I don't feel like doing the graph. We should know that minimum wage, uh, yes, it increases the wages for some workers, but because the quantity demanded for labor is going to decrease because the employers don't want to pay the higher wages. It actually leads to more people being unemployed. Okay. All right. I'm at seven minutes, 37 seconds. Any questions? You got to know the cost minimizing ratio, marginal product of labor over wage equals marginal product of capital over the, the rent. But uh, I think it should be in pretty good shape. Time is running around. Three, two, one. Oh my God.